What's going on guys? It's Kyle again with DTOM Knives and Gear and today we are going to be showing some knives but talking a little bit about one of my favorite knives of all time, the Spyderco PM2. So uh, my buddy Jeremy, freakshow underscore EDC, links will be down below for his Instagram, uh, super super supportive man of the channel, uh, has sent me quite a few knives to review and this last batch that he sent me, he... Um, sent over two versions of the PM2 that I have never handled. The PM2 Tonto, which is a Blade HQ, I can always, I always do that, Blade HQ exclusive, and then the Warney Blade. So I'm used to the regular PM2's blade shape, right? Uh, these two are super cool because they're different. People like different things. The platform of the PM2 is just one of the best not the best for right hand or I'm sorry, left-handed folks, as you can tell from Lefty EDC's channel. The compression lock, I love the compression lock. It's just not like I'm trying to do this left-handed, and it's just it is not cool because I have to basically hold the knife like this to get it to drop, so you don't have a good grip on it. So the PM2 is one of my favorite platforms. Uh, it's a great cutter. It's got great ergonomics. Uh, and the compression lock is fidgety as hell. I love it. Uh, now, I'm sorry, shaking the camera. Uh, now, like I said, left-handed, yeah, it's not that great. But uh, OCD for EDC has made, I can't remember what he calls it. But basically, it's a little uh, G10 little area. Not on that one. A little G10, little spot that goes on this. So whenever you are operating this left-handed, instead of having to get into that little area with a compression lock, it actually makes it into like a button for you can drop it. If you want to see more about that, check out his channel. Also go to Lefty EDC's channel. He did it on his Para 3 build <coughs> and he's actually kept that knife. So that should tell you something. <laughs> so, cause he did a bunch of stuff with his Para 3. Um, so, and you know, the Para 3 also really cool. They do not offer these extra blade shapes though on the Para 3, just in the PM2. So, the PM2, the reason I say it is one of my favorite knives and platforms is a few reasons. First of all, uh, it was one of the first nicer knives that I bought. My first knife that I bought from Spyderco was the Chinese Tenacious. That kind of started it all. You've probably heard me talk about it on a couple of different videos. Uh, I fell in love with the spidey hole and being able to spidey flick, which is my preferred method to, to open any knife now. Uh, whether it be with a hole, a thumb stud, or a fuller, any of that. I, that that's how I want to open the knife. It just makes it fun for me. But the compression lock and not having to have your hands in the, um, in the cutting path or where the, the knife drops is also a huge plus. I mean... I, I actually absolutely fell in love with it, and the reason I still have my PM2s is because I still carry my PM2s. Now, the two that are mine here, this is the um, uh, PM2 Ultra, which has turned a left-handed PM2 into a button lock, as you can see there. This is the uh, blades we love. That's what they do. Uh, you can pick, you know, green micarta, pick bronze hardware, just really, really cool. Uh, love this knife because it turns it into a button lock and makes it even better. Uh, and then of course this one is my PM2 Maximant that I put some really cool skills on and this will be getting a makeover. I've been saying that for a while. I find, I have all the stuff to do. It's just, I'm trying to get a bunch of reviews done. So I will be able, I will be doing a acid etch on this one and blacked out hardware and clip that was sent to me by Lefty EDC because he's my brother and he loves me. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn, well, no, we're not, <laughs> no, we're not. What we're going to do first <laughs> is we're going to cut with these different blade shapes. Uh, Jeremy, hell of a dude, told me specifically, do the cut test. And so these have a very similar form factor as far as overall size, thickness, sticks of the blades, all that stuff. However, with the different blade shapes, how do they perform? Now, obviously, the tips, all of these have tips. A Tonto, uh, you know, it is it is different. But you have a like the, the thickness behind the edge on this Warney is around the same as the PM2, the regular PM2 leaf-shaped blade. 
Um, very slicey blade. It's not the thinnest behind the edge, but a very slicey blade, and that's why people love it. Now, it does have a delicate tip, which is actually uh, fixed with the PM2 Tonto. Much, much thicker out here to the edge, which is, I think, why a lot of people liked it. Of course, being a Tonto blade, people just love Tontos. It is a compound grind. I thought this was a hollow grind <coughs> on the primary, but it's not. It is a, um, uh, a flat grind on both the Tonto and on the, you can see that mirror edge that Mr. Jeremy put on this thing. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but, and I say that they're pretty similar around the, behind the edge, but the Tonto is thicker. That's about 27 thousandths behind the hedge, but the other ones are around 20. Let me just go ahead and, yeah, so 21 to 22. So they're not the thinnest, but they really have great geometry with a full flat grind on the regular PM2 and the Warncliffe. I mean, it's just, just a different looking, right? Me personally, I do prefer the leaf-shaped blade. Um... And, and that might just be because I've had it for so long and it's just what I'm used to. The Tonto definitely looks cool and I do love a good Tonto. So, uh, so yeah, let's do some cutting and see, you know, how they perform, right? So, which one do we want to use? We'll use, we're going to use the PM2 Ultra. And the reason I wanted to use that is because this is still wearing its factory edge. The Maximit is wearing my edge. So, to be fair, now, obviously, these two uh, knives from Jeremy have, are wearing his edge, uh, but they're freaking amazing. <laughs> so, take this with a grain of salt. It's not the factory edge for most of these. So, let's go ahead and start with the Tonto, right? And let's do, I don't have a lot of cardboard here. Let's do the cardboard. Just do a little slice. Slices, so good. Uh, moves the material back out of the way. You don't have anything really getting in the way. That's amazing. Let's do the warning. Feels really about the same, even though you've got a full flat grind here, partial flat grind here. So the geometry, oh yeah. And then of course, your regular PM2. It's a slicer. It's a great EDC knife because it performs. Let's see what the Tonto does with the paracord. Push cut, no problem. The warning. This is kind of futile, really, because all these perform, and most people already know that. Even less on the warning, because it's just a little bit thinner behind the edge, I believe. Do the push cut with my regular. Same thing. They felt about the same as far as the push cut on paracord. Now, the stronger stuff. Uh, the twisted sisal rope, you know, gives some. It gives some blades a run for its money. Now, some of them do better than others, and I really believe that sometimes it is just how I'm doing it. So don't take me for an expert or this being a scientific test because it's not. Uh, this is just me holding a piece of rope and cutting it. Uh, this is just a more abrasive uh, piece of material. So we're going to do a slice and push with the Tonto. Went right through it. Obviously a little bit of resistance, but a very nice clean cut. What about the Warncliffe? They call this a warning, right? Yeah, they call it a warning. Oh, yeah, that one was really, really good. Uh, I, that was very, very clean. And then, of course, the regular PM2. So, it it's a performance blade in all of its shapes. Uh, it's just performer. Spyderco knows what they're doing uh, with that full flat grind on these two. And then now with this Tonto, they really, really know what they're doing. They test them out and they make sure that they are functional tools first. <coughs> now, the PM2 comes in just about any steel you could think of. Uh, not all, but just about. One of the great things about the PM2 and Spyderco is they have things like exclusives and sprint runs and all those where you can get just amazing super steals. Now, a lot of them are limited runs. <laughs> uh, the Maximit, though, is a production run. Uh, and I'd be Maximit, if you don't know about Maximit, it is not corrosion resistant. However, it holds an edge for ever, ever. 
Uh, the only reason I sharpened this is because I ended up dropping it and chipping the blade. Like an idiot. Um, that was a long time ago. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you can get production, a Maximate blade in the PM2. And I highly, highly suggest that because it has really turned out to be one of my all-time favorite knives. Uh, the other two, as far as the uh, blade steel with these, you know, blade HQ and the excuse, it, oh my God, <laughs> exclusives, uh, you're looking at S30V. <clears throat> but you can get 110V, 4V, uh, I mean, just K390, all kind of stuff, guys, uh, which really puts Spyderco PM2 at the top of my list of recommendable knives is really because of that. You can pick your poison, what you want, what you want to spend. They're not ridiculously expensive, uh, even when you get those exclusives and whatnot. Now, the secondary pricing can go bonkers. Uh, <laughs> bonkers. But, you know, if you want it, you'll want it and you'll pay it, right? I've done it. Uh, I don't, you know, I'm not saying go out there and pay whatever people want to sell for. You know, I'm not saying that. But if it's something that I want and it's, you know, rarer, I know I'm going to pay a little bit more. Now, I don't want to pay extreme prices. And some of them do go for extreme prices. I wouldn't buy any of this stuff on eBay because, damn. But Knife Groups, Reddit, uh, Knife Swap, uh, you know, the Facebook groups, um, the uh, Millie Pair 3, Millie Pair... Millie PM2 Pair 3 Club, I can never get that out, uh, is a great Facebook group for all things Spyderco and everything else, just a fun place to hang out, my buddy Jake Bearded Gear is a moderator over there, and then of course you've got Jason, uh, uh, Jason and uh, freaking, oh my god, Thomas, uh, over there, they started the group, it's just a really cool place to hang out, uh, so since we're talking about Spydercos, I definitely want to mention that, because if you're on Facebook, you need to be a part of that group. So, anyways, that's really about it. I, I, you know, these two blades I carried, I cut with, and I love the Tonto. I'm not crazy about the aesthetics of this one, uh, but you just can't deny the performance of these blades in all of their blade shapes. This one definitely looks cool, I have to admit. Um, you know, I love a good Tonto with a compound grind. It's just really cool looking. So, obviously, the regular leaf-shaped blade from Spyderco is my number one. Uh, the number two would be the Tonto, and the number three would be this guy. But this guy cuts. <laughs> it cuts really, really well. Uh, so, any of them will do you justice, I guarantee. Um, you know, the PM2 is just seriously... One of the best. It really is. Now, you know, when you're getting in collecting, a lot of people just collect PM2s and they try to get every single variant that out there, you know, the G10 colors and the steels. I respect the guys who do that. I I, I don't play that game. Uh, you know, I think I had, yeah, I had th I've had three at one point. I had the Maximate, I had a K390, and now this PM2 Ultra. And I ended up selling the K391 because I didn't feel like I needed three. But I definitely need two. <laughs> in my collection, the Maximum and the PM2 Ultra will never leave my collection. It's just not going to happen because I love them that much. Uh, so anyways, guys, just a quick little talk about these particular knives. I really, really appreciate you stopping by. Definitely go over and thank Jeremy over at Freak Show EDC underscore, uh, Freak Show underscore EDC. <laughs> Links down below. Go thank him. Tell him how much we appreciate him to be a part of this channel and to help uh, you know help the channel out by sending all these really cool knives for me to experience that I don't have to go out and buy everything. He's just really, really cool. We love him dearly. Guys, stay safe in this crazy world that we are living in, and we will see you in the next one.